Today, Dr. Byer, Dr. Jeff, and his grandson, Angel, and Hector and his daughter, Daphne, are heading three hours south to San Luis Valley. Surrounded by 14,000 foot peaks and deep snow cover, the valley is one of the coldest places in the continental US. It's also one of the wildest. Did you see that sign? Look, read the sign. What? Death. This is a dangerous place. Death. Please be careful. Be careful. Colorado Gators is the unlikely sanctuary for 300 American alligators. Alligators in Colorado, I mean, here we got snow all around us, but it's the thermals. These hot thermals come in at 87 degrees. So in all honesty, these gators are probably warmer here than they are in some other places that live naturally in the world. It's cold. Howdy. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm Jeff. This Jeff. is Dr. B. Dr. Howdy. B. Hector. How are you? How are you? My daughter. This is, this is bait one, bait two. <laughs> We're here to basically amputate the leg of a gator called Swampy. Swampy got her foot bit off, and uh, they ended up amputating at the wrist, and now the wrist has gotten infected, so now we're gonna go up a little bit higher, about midway on what would be our bicep area. And then hopefully it'll still be used as a stump to kind of balance, but not uh, get infected again. We're really thankful for Dr. Jeff's help because our old vet, Dr. Kanishi, finally retired at 94 years old. <laughs> so we're really thankful that Dr. Jeff was willing to come down and, and do this for us. Swampy originally came from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, was confiscated by animal control because alligators are strictly illegal in New Mexico as pets. And uh, animal control called us and asked us to take it. One of her feet was bitten by one of the other alligators. They did an amputation on it, uh, but they left it a little too long, so she's causing some problems with the stump. Alligators aren't very nice, especially to each other. They do get territorial, and uh, they get in a fight over who's the boss, and sometimes it uh, can go badly. OK, so I'm going to go over there and find Swampy, and I'm going to drag her up here on land away from the others. Okay. Just remember, I can't do surgery if I get things bit. Remember that, OK? <laughs> OK. All right. <laughs> I got my first bite when I was five years old. I got my last bite uh, just over a week ago. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Thank you. Oh, let's see, I'm in luck. Her tail is the closest one to me, oh, so that's nice. That worked out good. I don't have to sort through a bunch of them. Oh. Whoa! Now I can't see her. That's great. I think this is her. Well, she's definitely more than 50 pounds. Yep. Back up a little bit, guys. She's mad. All right. Yep. I see the leg. That's amputated pretty high. All right, girl. Don't do anything until I tell you to. Yep. OK? I got to get her under control first. Yep, yep, no problem. Step to your left, or my left. A little bit. Yeah. Dr. B, yes. grab that tail for me. Can we grab the tail? And straighten her body out. Okay. There yep. you go. I'm pulling up on her chest and sitting on her tail to take her out of her two-dimensional plane where she's really strong. Uh, since their movement's all bilateral, side to side, most important thing is not to put anything beside the alligator's mouth. Yeah, right. That you don't want to lose. Exactly. She can turn and get you real quick. I'll hold the mouth shut, dry it off with the paper towels because the tape won't stick yeah. if the mouth's wet, especially on the top. Yeah. I was pretty freaked out for Jay. I was like, you know, but he's obviously the professional. He's done it before. But still, you know, even if you do it a thousand times, it doesn't matter. They're wild animals, and they can always get you. She's just breathing. <laughs> oh, hold on, guys. Don't drop it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it, grab it. Don't let go. Don't let go. Come yeah. on. Don't let go, no matter what. Two. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Do not let go. Yep, and if it wiggles, just hold it closer to you yep. against your body. It's strong. 
Very strong. Watch that tail. Watch that tail. Watch that tail. No worries. Come on, feisty. What I'm trying to do is find a, a vein, because the anesthetic I'm going to use has got to go in the vein. It's just right above the spinal cord. Yep. Okay. The main thing is being able to get the anesthesia into the animal, make a couple of injections, and once we get it induced, then we can put on gas. I have worked with many crocodilians in my day. In the zoo, we had, had a fair number of them. Somebody grab this. Just take it out. She don't seem to like it a whole lot. Doesn't taste very good. You got it all in, Dr. B? I think so. Give me a chance to check her out here. Okay? All right, give me a tube. Well, she's not quite there because I can't get the mouth open. Easy, don't want her to get you. She may not be totally out yet. Oh, okay. no, her gullet's open, she's out. It's not going in. Hook her up on the gas. Well, yeah, I feel good about that now. There we go. Well, we don't want this gator out any longer than one has to be. I never worked on an alligator before. Um, the amputation will be a little bit of a challenge. First cut. That's tough. I'm pushing pretty hard to get through this. All right, I may have to have you hold this up. Yeah. Dr. B, you OK over there? Yeah, we're doing OK. I'm just making sure that she gets a breath every 15 seconds. I'm looking at color. I'm looking at how the surgery's going. I'm looking to make sure that she's bleeding. That tells me the heart's working. Bone's a little made a little different than our shoulder joint in a dog's, but basically I'm cutting the last piece here, just cutting the muscle attachment to the joint. There you go. That's it. Swampy's amputation went really well. Consider it was my first time operating on an alligator. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. It's not that much different than a lot of animals, other than the skin. The skin is really thick. Oh, man, just bit my needle. Ah, man, that's tough. That's crazy tough. There's a lot of suture on all these, but the needles are so dull, you can't put them through butter right now. Probably about eight packs total. It's great to be out here saving animals. And that's kind of what we're all about. Looks good, man. How do you think the alligator is going to handle being with the, you know, being three-legged? She would struggle a little bit in the wild, but here, where we're throwing food to every alligator, she should do fine. If the leg hadn't been amputated farther up, she would have died. Uh, it may have taken her a while because it takes them a long time to get an infection and die. Something that kills a mammal in four days could take four to 12 months to kill an alligator. So it would have been a long, painful death. Jay's going to keep a close eye on Swampy. We got to get back to Denver. Swampy needs to recover and uh, just give him some time. Thanks again for your help and have Glad a safe trip back. Have All right, good one. Come back this summer and I'll give you a call and let you know how she does. All right. All right.